Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond from SharePoint Wizard. In this episode I'd like to show you a new feature that just is rolling out and it's called actually Templates for Document Libraries. So up until now if we would go to and do a new list we got some ready-made uh, templates that we got from Microsoft and we could also uh, choose from existing ones. Uh, and of course, a blank list. So the same feature is rolling out also for document libraries. So I'm now in a team site and I'll click new and click documents. Create a new document. So of course I can create a, a blank library, but now we have three templates that uh, Microsoft has provided. So let's see uh, how the templates looks. Media library. So we see here a uh, overview. You see we have a thumbnail, the name of the file, some date files, status, approvers, and other things. What we can do, just like in Microsoft List, we can uh, choose to use the template, give a name, and now it has been activating it. Now. What you see here is not only the template comes, but it also comes with a reminder. So uh, what I can do is actually or to do it later or to do next. And actually it will also um, set a reminder. Um, so we will get a notification once it's ready. Of course, we can also go to the uh, automation or integration and power automate and set the, the date uh, to certain days before to get uh, some kind of a mail or reminder. So for the meantime, let's go and see. Uh, so if we want to apply it, a document, uh, let's look for a movie, but it can be anything else. So this is actually a movie that I'm uploading and uh, hopefully it won't take too long. And you see actually the movie has been uploaded and now I can uh, manage the metadata. So actually I can go to the I and fill out the information. So I can also give a title, let's just call it name, thumbnail, we don't need to, release date, can put a date 2023 and uh, oops, it needs to be something uh, date like seems like it's 2023 and we could set something with the date is not not okay but we can um, set out um, person that will be assigned and status this you know of course and format and uh, that's more li like it so we see the thumbnail which is a preview if it was a, a word document we would see it if it's a powerpoint let's go and create a new uh, document library for the second uh, template invoices so here we see the name we have um, a uh, person, a status, amount, and dates. So let's just use this. And um, and now we can also hear that the three day uh, uh, flow that is running, we can do that later. If we do that, then we can click it later on and set it up. Uh, let's go for the last and not least template, we can go to document library and learning. Here we have the name, a description, and some dates and statuses. Let's use this. Seems like for many of the templates, it gives a reminder, especially if you have a date. So let's upload a Word document and out uploading and now we can even go to the grid view 
and uh, set up the date, another date, and quarter, and subject, and grade, and uh, all of the stuff, and now we can exit the grid view. So we have here everything, and uh, eventually you can create your own. But what's nice is, just like in Microsoft List, that you can create a document library based on an existing library. So let's click existing library. So we can create uh, libraries based on libraries that exist on our site. Or we can go to other sites that we have permissions and choose one of those. So actually, let's just choose um, this uh, invoicing one or learning and let's call it learning copy. Uh, it actually does not copy the content, but just the, the structure. So if you look, this is the structure with, we have a great teacher and what we did like that. And if we go and look for learning, we will see exactly the same thing. So you don't need to invent the, the wheel. In the past it was possible uh, when you would save a template of a list or a library. Now you don't need to. It's really really cool. Um, so this is in summary. Um, Microsoft is enabling us to use their templates and create of course a blank list where you define your columns by yourself or from an existing list. Who knows, maybe AI will or Copilot will also be involved in the future. So this is in short what we have and uh, hopefully rolling out to your tenant very soon. Goodbye. If you like my channel, subscribe. And uh, thank you very much.